set their sights on the state championship that eluded them last year. Well, one year later, W.C.T. Stapler and the Mustangs are now just one step away from accomplishing a dream. Gary Strickland has the story. That was the play that saved the season for the Sweetwater Mustangs. I was just hoping just to make it all the way. That's all I was thinking. Catch it first, then make it all the way. But there's more to this game than one play. The Mustangs kept themselves in trouble most of the day. Turnovers hurt Sweetwater and almost killed them. That fumble set up Westlake's first score of the day. The Mark Mangum, the Joe Gilbert connection quietened the Sweetwater crowd. But on the ensuing kickoff, Sweetwater's Mike Welch stymied Westlake. He took the ball at his own end zone, raced up the middle, saw an opening, and wins the 100-yard dash for a 7-7 game. Bobby Bowes was blocking on the safety, and there wasn't really much else for me to do but run. Anybody could have run through the hole that was there. Trailing 10-7 in the second quarter, the Mustangs' best offensive play in the first half. Mike Welch battles for the pass, comes up with it all the way down to the Westlake 1. On the very next play, Neil Hoover sneaks it in, and the Mustangs grab a 14-10 lead. But after another Sweetwater turnover, Chris Driscoll romps in from 10, and the two-point conversion gave Westlake a 21-14 halftime lead. After a scoreless third quarter, we jump to an emotion-packed fourth quarter. The Mustangs trail by seven and driving. Fourth down and four. Hoover flips it over the middle, but he didn't see number 89. Dennis Schick appears to have saved the day for Westlake with the interception. Three minutes left in the game. The Mustangs at their own 37. Hoover sends Norman on a goal pattern, and bingo, he's gone. Sweetwater led in penetration, so a tie at 21 would mean a win. So the season came down to the toe of Bobby Atkins, and it was meant to be. Westlake had two more possessions, but the Mustangs intercepted a pass, recovered a fumble, and ran out the clock. Were the kids nervous today? I think they were. They were real tight. They were real quiet, and uh, that, that always worries you. And, uh, that and, and the fact that we didn't get outside to work all week. You know, we were trapped indoors, and it's just a different atmosphere in there, and I think that hurt us some, the pressure of the game, and, hey, they got a heck of a football team, but we made so many mistakes uh, that it really hurt us. But I think our youngsters were tied, but they did what they had to do in the end to win it. Great call, great pass, great catch, and Sweetwater wins again. Christmas gets closer, and the Mustangs get deeper in the playoffs, and this Christmas may be the best Christmas ever for the people in Sweetwater. Gary Strickland for Big Country News in Brownwood. Well, with that win for the Mustangs, they will now...